Hello, everybody, and welcome back to C++ Programming. I'm Root of the Null. In the last video, we were looking at default arguments for our functions. We were looking at an example with uh, just a person and kind of the, the letter that they associate with person A, person B, person C, that sort of thing. And they had an age. And these were typically default in our functions. If we were to run this code, uh, you'll notice um, person A, which we have not supplied in the execution of our function, it's, it's just going to be default from this variable here. That's going to say, hello, and he's age 20, which, again, we have not supplied. It's just a default parameter. Cool. Now, let's continue with our concepts. I'm going to go ahead and create a new new script. Uh, not a new script, but a new file in this case. I'll call mine 09 underscore if statement dot cpp. And you get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guessed it. I don't know why I said the wrong thing there. I must be nervous. You guys make me nervous. Have I ever told you that? Sitting up here, speaking into a computer screen, <laughs> knowing that tons of people are listening. <laughs> right. Okay. In this video, we're going to talk about the if statement. And the if statement is incredible. Now, there are a lot of things that I kind of I, I, I talk about and I say when it comes to programming that are like crucial and super duper important to your understanding of programming and that sort of thing. Well, I cannot stress it enough with the if statement. It allows for a different kind of logic flow. It allows you to test whether or not things are the way that they are. It allows you to determine things under a condition, which is cool. So, the syntax is really simple in C and C++. It's just simply the word if, and a space, and the condition in C has to be inside parentheses. So if we have a condition, uh, if that condition is true, then we will run a code block, which will, of course, uh, do stuff in the code block. There can be, it can be, it can do a ton of things, and that's how it works. So let's just start this up. If we say hello, hello world, at the start of our program, let's do endl. Let's do another endl. Let's say uh, integer of subscribers. <laughs> subscribers equals a thousand <laughs> then uh okay we've got that variable right there let's test let's test in our if statement let's modify our condition let's say if the variable subscribers is equal to 1000 now you notice I've used the uh, one equal sign to assign the value of 1000 to the variable subscribers. That's what this equal sign is. It is an assignment operator. Now, in an if statement, you've got a little bit of a different thing going on. An if statement worries about conditions, which actually have to do with comparison. So this, it subscribers equals 1000, is not what we're trying to say here. We don't want to say if subscribers equals 1000. We want to know if subscribers is equal to 1000. It's comparing these things. So we have what's called comparison operators or testing operators. So we don't use, in an if statement, we don't use one equal sign, we use two. Because this means if this is equal to that. You can think that these two equal signs means is this equal to. Now we can test, okay, yes! We have 1,000 subscribers. Hallelujah. <laughs> and then uh, end the line there. Cool. Let's return zero before I forget. And let's run our program. I'll hop over to my terminal. I'll uh, g plus plus 09. And then run 8 out out. Oh, no. That should be a... Okay. Hello, world! Yes, we have 1,000 subscribers. Awesome. Now, this statement is only happening because subscribers is equal to 1,000. If I were to change subscribers, if I were to change subscribers, is going to be equal to zero. No one loves me. Absolutely everyone hates me. They don't watch my videos. If I run this code, all it says is hello world. This line, this execution of output, yes, we have 1,000 subscribers, that's not happening because... This, this condition, is now untrue. It returns false. If subscribers is equal to 1,000, no, it's not. We know that subscribers is equal to zero. 
Now, what if I did the other way around? What if I tested, uh, okay, subscribers can equal zero, sure. That's just fine. If I run this, yes, we have zero subscribers in this case. Yes, we have zero subscribers. What if we tested we had, if subscribers could be 20? Yes, we have 20 subscribers. Well, you know that's not going to happen either, because subscribers is still zero, and it's testing if this is 20. They have to match up. They have to be equal. They have to be, they have to have meet a true condition. And that condition inside this, these parentheses is what's being tested with this if statement. That's all that it means. It's just an if condition. And that's, that's the point that I'm trying to get across. So, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, very, very simple, very, very easy, but a fundamental understanding in, in programming and, uh, and programming concepts. So, we'll continue off this very, very soon. In fact, in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you then.